So I had a car towed earlier today and um, it was one of a customer that I know. She told me that it needed a fuel pump. It wasn't starting, it needs a fuel pump. So I said, all right. So she told it to the shop and when she told it, we, um, we pushed it in and put it in a lift. And this is what I found. Yes, I found a connecting rod sticking from the bottom of the engine. Yes, a connecting rod. It's a connecting rod, punch your hole right to the engine. This is a serious reason why I always stress that people have to learn to check that oil. Don't just go based on, oh, my car will go five or 6,000 miles without having oil changes. You really just wanna, you know, check your oil every week every two weeks periodically just depends on how much you're driving how much driving you do every day but it's very very crucial to learn how to check your oil this car has 140,000 miles on it but because the oil does not the oil is not being changed on a regular basis so people just go based on all right i can drive 5,000 miles without checking the oil and this is what happened you had a hole punch through your engine and your connected rod comes hanging on the floor. Now it's a 3,000 hours repair instead of just changing your oil once every, changing your oil on time or just learn to check your oil. Checking your oil is a very easy procedure. It's not that hard. It can take you literally like two minutes and you can check your oil. First thing you want to do is make sure your car is in a level ground. Engine off, make sure the engine is off and at least it's been two minutes after the engine is turned off because you want the oil to drain back to the bottom of the oil pan. And then next you want to locate your hood release. The hood release is located uh, on the driver's side somewhere around your left foot area. You're going to see a hood release. Different car put hood releases, some on the side and some on the top. On this car it's, it's on the side. After you release the hood, you walk back outside, you want to locate the safety hood release is another hood release which is for safety on the hood. Uh, nine out of ten times is located in the middle of the hood. There's a lever there. As soon as you stick your hand in there, you can feel it. Then you open the hood. Next, we want to locate the dipstick. For this car, this is the dipstick right here. Uh, this is a 2013 Volkswagen, Volkswagen CC, so the dipstick is brown, but for a lot of domestic cars, a lot of times the dipstick will be um, yellow and uh, possibly sometimes it might actually say engine oil on it. All right, so once we look at the dipstick, we want to pull the dipstick out and get a clean rag, paper towel, whatever you have at that point in time, you wipe it off, stick it back in, all the way, make sure that it's all the way sticking, and then we pull it out. This is what it's gonna look like after you pull the dipstick out of the engine. As you can see, nine out of 10 times, all dipstick is gonna have two indicators on it. It's gonna have a line, two lines and two dots. One in the middle, one on the bottom, one on the top. If you see this dipstick right here, there's two lines. There's a line right here and there's a line on the bottom right there. And what you want, you always want the oil to be in between these two lines. If the oil goes below this line right here, it's an indicator that you have to add more oil to your car. It is very important. You do not want this oil to go to the bottom or you do not want the oil where it's not even touching the disc at all. You always want your oil to be in between these two lines, right? In between these, this line and that line right there. You, most of the time also when it's below, when it's below the bottom line, when it's right below, it just means that you probably short like a quart or a quart and a half. Do not let it go below the bottom line. Another thing, if you look at the oil, if you look at this oil, it's, it's really clear, it looks like honey. That's a sign that this oil is really good, it's clean oil. If the oil was a little bit dark brown, like dark, dark brown it means it's time for oil change or it's getting to it's getting to the point that you need an oil change if the oil is really really dark it means you need an oil change go change your oil your oil is a very important component it lubricates all moving parts inside your engine and it helps to keep down friction friction causes heat heat causes wear without the right amount of oil in your car your engine is going to burn up and it's going to cease really really quick I advise you to always check your oil in between oil changes. Yes, you 
probably do change your oil, but you still want to check your oil between oil changes because you never know how much your oil, is, how much your car is burning oil if you're losing oil any places. So my recommendation is periodically check your oil between oil changes.